Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Let's Play, yeah, I am Setsuna. We're gonna go through the Frost Caves this time around. Now that we uh, got the permission from uh, her. Oh, there you are, Nidder. Are you coming with us? Ah, okay then. Well, see you later. Yeah, well, uh, he defended you for all those years. He did a really good job. If I were you, I'd let him stay. Yeah, you should consider that. Come on. Oh, we oh yeah, that's the guy, uh... Who, uh, who told Nita that he's a coward. Time for what? Uh, probably for him to complete the pilgrimage. <laughs> Good job. Alright, so I'm guessing that we're getting another party member. I wonder how we're gonna be able to uh, have four of them. Are we gonna be able to, like, change them whenever we want to? Because we'll find out. Yeah, glad to have you on board, man. Cool. So the overall style of this guy actually reminds me of... Uh, actually reminds me of Jet from Final Fantasy X. I mean, it's the same thing. Essentially, uh, this guy felt his programmers and now he... Uh, He's gonna guide us through it. Cool. Okay, let's talk to these guys. Anything, uh, anything important? Cool. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, oh, right, let's move on. Um. Let's stick for with those three for now. Oh, that guy fled again. Is it the same enemy that like last time, the one that fled? Ah, whatever. Uh, let's go with normal attacks. From what I've realized, uh, this enemy, the the poison puff puff, uh, there's no way that you can avoid him self-destructing. I mean, uh, as soon as hit points are down to zero, he's gonna self-destruct no matter what. There's no way you can avoid that. Uh, the only thing you can do is that they kill him at the right time, and he's as far away as possible that uh, his attack was actually gonna miss. Uh, so let's see, we can swap Nidor in and out, and everyone basically, whenever we want to. Um, let's see. She's using the guard sword. Got no replacements for that. Uh, talismans. What is that? This, this doesn't do anything, does it? Nah. Okay, let's go uh, equip him with that, with that one. Yeah, the Kyosaur bracelet. Let's, yeah, let's go with that. Is there anything else, Spirit Knights? Does he have anything? Aerial strike. Uh, can you, we can come to that? And uh, let's see. Oh, well. What I'm gonna do from now on is that uh, 
I'm actually gonna try to keep everyone at about the same level. So I'm gonna be swapping them in and out as I feel appropriate to do. Uh, so they can all advance uh, equally, that is. So yeah, for now, I think Nidor has the lowest level of all. Yeah, did you see that? Uh, when he explodes, he was uh, as far away as possible, so uh, we uh, avoided the self-destruct damage. I doubt it's gonna be the same with the other one though, because it's really close there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, well, easy enough. Okay, now Nidor is level 9. Uh, what is it? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, Ender is level 9, Nidor is level 7. So he's left behind, so I'm gonna stay with him for now. Uh, I think I brought some antidotes with me, so yeah, I think we should be fine. Ooh, close. That was close. I wonder if I wait long enough if they're gonna move, move away from it, but I don't think so. I think they're gonna stay in place and wait for me to do my. Uh, to finish my attack. Well, anyway, uh, here we get a test. Let's cure, uh, let's get sets in, uh, from Sap. Nice. And we get Provoke. Uh, I assume that's the, that's our tanking spirit knight. And I think I'm, I'm gonna equip that to, uh, to Nidor. As I think he has the most, uh, I don't think, I know he has the most hit points of all. So, let's see, let's try it, let's try it out, see if I can use him as a tank, direct all enemy attacks uh, into him, how the rest of the group attack, let's see. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm swapping uh, Endear out, so the other ones can uh, get up to his level. Get to his level. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's locked. Alright, let's see. Uh, nice, yeah, I, I was aiming for that. I wanted to heal all three of them. Alright, nice. Uh, let's just provoke, see how it works. Okay, let's see now. Oh! He used self-destruct before he was dead? I'm not sure. Maybe I killed him and I didn't know that. Or maybe he was like at critical hit points and he uh, he kind of activated the attack. Or oh, whatever. Cool. Uh, two, two left. Let's go. This enemy though... Uh, it doesn't seem as he was uh, aiming at Nidor before. I guess the movement hasn't anything to do with where the enemy is going to attack. I mean, it may have, that guy, that enemy was actually uh, moving towards Setsuna, but he uh, turned around and aimed at Nidor, so I guess uh, the provoke actually worked. Uh, let's heal up. Uh, where is it? Why is he? Oh, oh yellow means uh, critical hit points. That take that uh, takes care of that. Let's carry on. So yeah, this strategy that I'm gonna try to use from now on uh, is that I'm gonna be casting protect on Nidor and then have him use provoke. So uh, like I said before, he's gonna be the one taking all the damage, having the the other. Party members just uh, doing all the damage. But this looks like that <laughs> zero damage. It looks like that this is gonna be an overkill for now. I mean, uh, it's not really needed. The enemies doesn't seem the enemies don't seem to hit that hard. So I guess uh, uh, I should swap the Spirit Knight back to me and give him the aerial slash. 
so the fire the fights are gonna end much quicker well we'll see I'm just gonna be uh, trying things out for now let's go with normal attacks if they both explode at that place both neither and you're not gonna take a lot of damage or are they oh well You dead yet? Nice, okay. We avoided that one. Cool. Okay, we're really close to getting a level 4 session as well. Okay. Okay, it's a dead end that way. Let's carry on. More wall rushes. Uh, go with physical attacks. Please don't poison him. Cool. <laughs> Miss? Seriously? And uh, if he self distracts now. Nah, okay, we have kind of avoided that. There he goes. Shit. Don't stop her, please. Nice. Okay, finish him off. Come on. Stuna actually hits really hard. I mean, uh, 43 damage is really good for uh, someone who's supposed to be good at using magic. I mean, uh, is he supposed to use magic? I guess he is. So he has the role of the healer for me, at least for now. Uh, let's go the other way first. Three of them this time. Oh well. This track is so annoying. Now he's gonna self distract and he's gonna hit both of my. Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh, we avoided that sub once more. Good. Critical hit. I think that's the first time we've actually uh, <laughs> managed to get a critical hit. Okay. Alright, so uh, both Eterno and Nidergal level. We're doing good so far. Uh, now I'm gonna swap. Where am I gonna swap? Let's see. Uh, Setsuna, you can see it out of it. I'm gonna get a Fox Stones. Uh, I think that's the one that uh, whoops you out of the dungeon. Alright, let's take care of those four enemies and uh, we're gonna save the game. My experience says that we are gonna face a boss soon enough. So uh, we're gonna get prepared. Let's take care of those first, okay. Uh, poison's breath. Cool, we avoided sub once more. I should have brought more antidotes with me, but oh well. Oh, I was hoping that this is gonna hit the other one as well. Because I wasn't lucky enough. Yeah, see, he's not moving away until I do something. <laughs> just just finish him off. And now he's gonna hit all three of them. <laughs> Nidder just, uh, what is it? Uh, Ender barely uh, avoided that one. I'm getting a lot of items. Uh, I need to sell those and get gold. Get, uh, what is it? Gil. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna save the game now. Uh, let's see. Uh, 
I think uh, if, if there's a boss coming up, I think that I'm just gonna stick with Nidor, Endir, and Eterna. If I need to heal up, I think I'm just uh, I'm gonna basically use all my potions. Let's see. Uh. Oh yeah, Endir can also heal our party members with Aura. So if we have to do that, does Aura do anything else? Oh, we'll find out. Nothing. Okay, let's carry on. Let's see. Use potion. Uh... Oh, both Endir and Eterna needs healing. What's today? I'm gonna use that one. I hope there's a boss coming up. Otherwise, I just wasted my food. Oh, there he is. Nice. Oh, is that so? This guy ain't got a chance against this man. Yeah, love this music. Alright, let's go. Um, let's debuff him. Uh, let's go with slow and... Uh, let's see what Aura does. I know this isn't the best time. Oh. <laughs> That's, I just wasted Aura. I just wasted a lot of MP on something that I didn't need to choose, but oh well. Okay, so Aura actually heals everyone. That's really good to know. Let's, kind of, let's go with Protect. So, I wonder if I uh, cast protect... Nice, that's exactly what I expected. So, if uh, everyone is like really close to each other, also use a buff, it's gonna affect everyone. That's really good to know. Okay, now let's uh, go all out this guy. Oh, uh, <laughs> wall doesn't work the same way. Unfortunately. Shit. Do I have another? Oh, I got one more antidote. All right. Good, 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 good. We're doing good so far. Oh, we built up the momentum. Oh, that's good. Let's use momentum attacks from now on. Uh, use charge on him. More physical damage. Nice. And here has the same effect. Ow. Uh, yeah, I should be using Aura now. But I'm not gonna do that just yet. I don't even have the MP to do that. What am I saying? Yeah, I guess if needed. Oh, singularity effect. Nice. Uh, fluctuation occurs more easily. Now I'm gonna heal up everyone. Uh, let's use our potions. Otherwise, I would I would have to use an ether or endure and then cast aura. But oh well, same thing, I guess. Doing good. Oh, we got sapped again. I don't think I have any. Uh, do I have another antidote? I think I used the last one on uh, Nidder. Nidder there, so. Oh, he's done for. Nice. Oh, nice XP boost. I guess that's what the uh, food buff did. Nice. Oh, and we're healed up. Good. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go with Setuna, Eterna, and Eater. I don't think there's any upcoming battle anyway. What is it? Uh, what am I doing? Never mind. Okay. Uh, yeah. 
this uh, really annoying uh, screen flashing. There's no way we can avoid that for now. I'm really sorry about that. I should have brought another antidote with me, but well. Are we out of it? Yeah, we're out of the frost caves. That's the exit, I assume. Alright, cool. We're back in the world map. And uh Where is it? Where is it? Okay, I think we should go left, but But I can just not ignore those glowing things on the ground. Let's see if there's anything else lying down around here. Where where is it? Oh there it is. Black sweet potato. <laughs> Alright, doesn't look like there's, there's anything else around here, so let's go to the capital, let's go to Flonia. I guess that's how you pronounce it, Flonia. Flonia Citadel, okay. Can we go in? Tenderville. Nice name, Tenderville. <laughs> Is Lord Avila like the uh, ruler of this land? <laughs> what was that all about? Yeah, you've been kind of rude. Oh well, uh, yeah, we're here with a sacrifice. Let us through. Well, you kind of did. Okay, um... He said that Lord Avila is uh, up to the north, but we obviously ain't gonna go there just yet. Let's uh, take a look around first, see what's going on. Uh, we know about that, no need. Let's see. Ooh, new weapons, but I, uh, we don't have enough uh, guild to uh, buy them yet, so I guess we're just gonna have to go and sell everything that we got from all those uh, battles before. Hello. Oh, refugees. Yeah, I guess he's a really good guy. I like his name. Friendly Boy. <laughs> Let's see, nothing around here. Nothing we can get. Let's get out of here. Oh, uh, is it where all the uh, soaps are? Okay, uh, I think I should buy one more of those, or uh, maybe a couple of those, but I ain't got the uh, gel yet. Let's see. Okay, that's the guy we sell our uh, things to. Looks like he got. Uh, looks like that he's got new sprit knife for us. I wonder if I have all the materials to uh, get them. Uh, I'll check that later. Oh yeah, I need to 
buy a few antidotes. Yeah, I'm gonna need them. Let's see, four of them should be fine. And uh, let's see, a couple of those. All right, I think that's enough. Uh, hello. Wait, uh, Lord Dynas, uh, is it like the father of Lord Avalo? And why is he saying that, uh, what's wrong with Lord Avalo? I thought he was a good guy. But, um, by the tone of, uh, what this guy was saying, uh, I think people don't really agree to that. Oh well, we'll find out soon enough. What is that? Oh, that's like the uh, center of the town. You lost your wife for good? Aqua heart. All right, let's see what this is. Um, let's take care of the uh, what is it? The sap status of that annoying thing. So, Tuna, please uh, hit him up as well. Right. So uh, this talisman, oh, makes enemy eight speed visible. Yeah, I could use that. Who's gonna carry it though? This is a support oh, spirit knight, so I guess uh, pretty much everyone can equip it. Or is it like only one can equip it? I don't remember. I'll have to check that again. I'll, I'll, I'm doing it in a bit though. Let's see, anything else around here? I wonder if there's uh, anything we can pick up around the houses. I mean, uh, inside the houses that uh, isn't like inside a box or anything. I haven't seen this yet, so I doubt. I doubt it. Okay, I think we've seen. Uh, we've been through all the houses around here. Oh, okay, that's locked as well, obviously. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this episode here for now. Next time I'm gonna meet up with Lord Avalo and uh, hopefully he's gonna help us out with reaching the last lands. If you like this let's play so far, please like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Twitch, uh, everything you do helps me a lot. And uh, if you have any opinions to share with me, anything that uh, you find that is annoying or I'm doing wrong in my let's plays or anything that I should do differently, please uh, let me know in the comment section below. I really, really appreciate it. And, uh, as always, thanks for watching.